Welcome back to the channel. It is good to have you here. Good to see you again. Hopefully you guys have been catching some good fish, uh, staying out of crusty weather, and just having fun and enjoying these last few weeks of what is, in my opinion, spring. I know you northern guys are probably just getting started with the spring, but here in Texas, it's just getting so hot. We had a bit of a bit of a weather system rolling last night. Tornado, torrential downpours, but we decided that instead of staying inside, not dealing with the weather, that we'd go out and fish in it. We're at one of my favorite little lakes in East Texas, and we're gonna see if we can go crank them today. Also, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor. Pretty much the main sponsor of all these videos these past few, uh, these few weeks and months, that being Mercury Marine and also Lund. We've been putting the Lund through the absolute ringer these past few uh, these months. We dropped it in the salt, fished a derby the other day with this thing, and now we're on just kind of a chill little body of water and see if we can get some big bass. This lake is notorious for giants. So today we're just gonna break down basically spring fishing, fishing in some nasty weather, and just kind of showing you guys why it's worth going out and roughing it in conditions like these. This isn't that bad, but it may get worse today. But anyway, I'm gonna cut this intro short, stick with it, stay tuned, and let's have a day. Right, let's get this done. Let's get this brave. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Drop the F bomb. You're like, what the fuck are you trying to say? And then the same thing went like, so I got posted. Nice one. Nice one. First fish. We'll take that. Let's go, baby. Flip and shell. Nice little buck bass. Look how beautiful they are in here too. The colors, super white on the bottom, all green on top. That is a gorgeous fish. We've got Action Bronson behind us right now doing a one-man concert. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but <laughs> at least we're catching fish. Nice largemouth, probably close to two. Take that. Look at the colors. It's so weird how like they're, he's like white on the bottom. Probably because it's super sandy in this lake. That's nice, put it there. Woo, let's go. It's a good sign. One that quick. So cool to get some surface eats today. I've not had a good top water day all season. Woo! Okay. Getting a little nursty out here. Oh, brother. It's now wet. Water is wet. Oh. Hopefully this blows through. I hope it's weird. What's that? See that? It's right there. Something came up. There we go. I'm on. Finally, one on the spook. Little, but we'll take it. Little, but we'll take it. At least we know they're eating. Look at the colors on that guy. Finally got one on the top water. This is like one of my first top water fish of the season. Just now getting warm up here. So where you can throw some spookies. That's not the size we want, but it's a good sign. It means that they are looking up. We've seen some really weird stuff like bait busting, bass rolling up a, on top of the grass, presumably feeding. Wow, he just woke up. Nothing special, but it is a fish. Thank you, future 10 pounder. Oh my God, oh no, big one, big one, big one. Oh my God, that was a gi giant fish. That was a nice fish. I stuck him though. Damn it. Nice bass, I set the hook way too late on that one. Or way too early. Big one. No, he came off. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. This creek always kicks my ass. Just like dead f***ing worked. Oh, what the f Channel cat? No. Bullhead. Bullhead. Huh. Maybe that's what I had earlier. <laughs> Look how fatty he is. Yeah, dude. That is 
What's the state record? I'll keep him in the box. This might be close to like a state record or something like that. Definitely a late, I bet it's a lake record. Well, this is not what I thought it was. A bit really nicely, like a big bass, and then I reeled up and it's a, a little bullhead. Interesting, it could be a lake record, could be a state record, I don't know. It's definitely one of the bigger ones I've ever caught too. These things are ferocious. But we're gonna put them in the box, once we get service, we're gonna look up to see what the uh, what the record actually is. There he is. Nice little bullhead, sweet. Oh man, I thought that was a bagging. I was like, I even said bagging, bagging. Oh well. Oh well, better than nothing. Yeah, so we could spot them out, you know? Yeah, real nice. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, I saw that. Good one. Good one. Oh my god, nice one. Really nice one. Oh my god. I might have just came off. No, she's still on. Yeah, nice one. Good fish. On the scoop. Yes! Just knew we had to dedicate. <sighs> Throwing the spook on a big old grassy point. That's not a bad one. Definitely the biggest one of the day. <laughs> so cool. I saw him actually fall on it like a redfish or a or a striper, and he came up and just crushed it. Oh, nothing better than throwing spooks in the rain. Let's go, baby. Beautiful spring Texas large one. Probably close to three. High twos for sure. Thank you. Let's put them back. See you, Bella. What's your plan? It's a good, it's a good sign. They're eating on top. Let's keep it going. Oh my God. There's some fish. There's some fish out there. Way up high, too. There we go. Oh my god, oh my dude. Giant, 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 bro. Giant. Oh my, oh my god, this is big. This has got to be big fish. Oh my god, it is. It's a good fish. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Oh, spooky, spooky. Get him in the net. Let's go. That's a, <laughs> that's a, I said I wanted a five on dude, the spook. That's it. That's Let's it. Let's go. For all it. of it. All of it, man. <laughs> that was dirty, man. Oh, dude, that's a stud. That's a stud on the spook. Dude. Oh, dude, he was barely hooked, too. Yeah. Oh Just swiped at it. Look at you. You're freaking, you're a behemoth. Right before we got around this point, I was telling Alex, I want a five pounder on the spook on the top water. I think we may have just achieved that. Look at that fish, absolutely beautiful. Crushed the spook. I was looking at something, not paying attention. This guy just came up and annihilated. I've wanted a top water day so bad all season, and I think we got it. Let's go, baby. Boom. Wait, there you go, Charlie. There you go. <laughs> Time for the release. My favorite part. Thank you so much for biting. You just made my whole day. Go. I'm pumped, man. Nothing better than watching a fish that big eat a top water bait. Let's keep it going. We're not done. We're just getting started on this bank. Hopefully, there's more. So, I figured I'd just shed a little light on what we're doing right now. Kind of started off banging our heads in that creek, which generally is a good spot, but it's more of a spring zone. And now we're out in the main lake throwing these big spooks. Don't want to throw something small like the hound right now, only because we are fishing a lot of water and we're trying to cover it. It's also deep water too. Like I'm working this this bait over, you know, like nine foot of grass. So I want something that's gonna disperse a lot of water. This is actually like spook I use for peacock bass and stripers. But we're putting the boat in about 12 foot of water, casting all the way up into about two or three, and then pretty much twitching that bait, walking it all the way back to the boat. Real steady cadence. You guys can see this. I'm popping and then put my rod back towards the bait. That's what makes that that lure go back and forth and that's what drives those fish nuts. It's a slow, tedious way to work a top water, but oh my God, is that a bass? Oh my God, oh my gosh. That was a bass, wasn't it? Could you imagine? Rarely does that happen where you just throw out a fish that's busting around and it seems like it crushes. Lame. I'm trying to do a little tutorial piece on how to catch these fish and they keep rising to the surface, eating presumably big shad. And that leads to my next point. That's one of the reasons why I'm throwing such a big spook is the bait that's in here is huge gizzard shad, big bluegill. So I want something that's gonna move water, you know? Uh, 40 pound braid, throwing this on the seven foot go-to green. 
and using a casting rod. I like a fast gear ratio because sometimes these fish will throttle it and run right to the boat. They can be such little stinky, stinky wiener heads. You gotta, you gotta be on your toes when throwing top water because they get wheels when they're already on the surface. 40 pounds good, 30 pound is also good. The lighter the line, generally the better because you can get longer casts and throwing top water is all about, you know, moving around, covering water, and just making sure that you're not gonna miss any strike zones. What's well, those? Yeah, I forgot we saw that big one back there, didn't we? Or you guys did. I didn't see it really. I saw the little one. I saw the male. I would just like love to know where they. I would just like to watch one. Watch a big one come up shallow and lay its eggs. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was huge. That was huge. Alex, he's still on it. 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 That was huge. That was so. I saw the whole fucking fish, dude. That thing was monstrous. That was monstrous. Oh my God, dude, did you see it? It was so big. What the hell? Oh, I'm not picking up another lure all day. There's no way. Not after that. That was crazy. Oh, I was just talking to myself. I was like, you know, I've always come and I've always Came back to this little gut, this little creek, and I never caught him. Never even caught a bite. That's my first one. And it's an absolute giant. Got me hung up in the in the brush and everything. That was kind of sketchy. On the crack and craw. I love it. Oh, spring fishing does not get any better than this. Whew, I'm stoked. Nice. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Skinny, but big. Whew. We're crushing them out here. I was just about to say, well, we're gonna run one more bank and then probably dip. Not expecting much because we are going like an hour and a half without bites, but the bites that we're getting in between those lulls are big, big, big bites. Come on. Who's the one? Oh wow, another nice one actually. Another nice one. Ate it on the paws. Oh god, that's all good. Ate, ate that big, yeah, probably not too big. Wow. So cool. Getting the size today for sure. Look how Jimmy ate it. Well, at least we got this one on camera. Nice little like two pounder. It's just right on the point. Actually came on the pause. It was burning really fast. I think the key is to move this bait fast. I wasn't moving fast enough earlier. And now that I've picked up the speed with this thing, they're starting to react a little bit better. Not bad. A little two pounder. Thank you. Nice. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We are having a day out here right now. Couldn't have timed this any better. I had second guesses about fishing in the rain today, but I was like, you know what? Let's just send it. Wow, this guy went for it. Oh my gosh. That is a fish that probably could be close to eight one day, but right now we're fishing post-spawn bass. So they're not very filled out with eggs and bait at the moment, but just take a look at that fish. Take a look at that fish. Absolute behemoth. Look at the noggin. Yeah, just look at the belly. Yeah, spawn, just a post, big post spawner. Look at his tail though. Look how bloodied out that tail yeah, is. He probably just got off the beds. Oh, 6.09. Low sixes, probably could have been a seven if it was uh, a couple months earlier. Yep, Alex made a good point. Look at its tail. It's just gotten off the bed, probably guarding some fry and he did not want that spook in his territory. I'm gonna snag a quick picture and send old Bertha, Bertha on her way. Unfreaking real, dude. Right down to your baby sister. Wow, it is shaping up to be a really good day. It's finally calmed down, no more rain. This whole bank is glass. I think I figured something out there. You guys probably saw it. Damn it. What was our was SD full. Maybe we got it, maybe we didn't. I don't know if we got all that, but hopefully we did. Oh, that makes me kind of sad. But hey, at least we caught the fish. We still have a lot left to, to cover here. It's finally glassed out, the rain's quit, so. Maybe we'll get a few more opportunities, fingers crossed. Well, turns out we did not get that fish on, on camera. 
Alex and I have been having the absolute worst luck with GoPros. I advise if you do get a GoPro, just prepare for headaches. Buy a bottle of Tylenol uh, with your purchase of GoPro. The thing doesn't let me know when it's stopped recording, so it doesn't beep even though the volume's on high. It doesn't make any sense. Technical shit, you guys don't care. But anyway, it was a pretty wicked eat. I'm pretty dis disappointed we didn't get it on footage. I would have at least liked to have seen that little and show you guys. But yeah, I just changed up the cadence and went boom, 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 boom. And then he absolutely annihilated. So I'm thinking maybe I need to speed up the presentation. Probably like that first one that you missed today. Yeah. 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 I was recording for that one. Let's go, <laughs> baby! Woo! That's a stud. Now, I mean, that is an absolute stud. This is the fish we've been after all freaking day. We have probably like, I don't even know, a 25 pound bag or something. This is ridiculous. He slaughtered it too. What I said, just wanted one more big bite. I think that, uh, I think that bite. He's right here in the boat. She was barely hooked. One hook in her. Shout out to Alex for not only filming, but netting that fish too. Oh my God, dude, look at that. It's probably gonna go, I don't know. Let's play it. <laughs> dude, it's, it's tall. Yeah, it's, yes. Let's go, baby. What is it? Seven, seven, six, two. Oh my gosh, that is a seven pounder on a top water spook. This has been an absolutely ridiculous day. We're gonna grab some pictures as we always do for the gram. And we're center on our way. Thank God. If I had to record for one fish, I'm glad it was this one. That was explosive, dude. Okay, time to send her back. Thank you, Burke. Look at the eyes. I love when they get those googly eyes, man. That's when you know it's a unit. On a freaking topwater. Get back down there, you sassy little fish. Woo! Let's go, baby! I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that, man. Not it's like I, we missed the six on camera, we missed the five. Like, even though I'm catching fish out here, it bums me that we're not filming it for you guys. We're not able to capture because I am a dunce and GoPro sucks. But that one was on camera. Put it there, dude. Mm, it's a six. We have a six, a seven, two fives, and like a three. This is an insane day. All on top water. Oh, I guess one on the crawl, but all mostly on top water. Let's keep going. Might as well. Officially last cast of the day. Ooh, that is gonna conclude today's video. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this one. This is probably one of my favorite fishing trips of like the whole year here in Texas. Not only did we brave it through the storm, catch some big fish, do it all on top water, but we had this whole place to ourselves, and it was just nice to, to get out and just chase some, some post spawners, some nice big fish. I think we had Estimated a little over 26 pounds for our best five. And to do it on a spook is like, there's not much more than you can ask for. So I, I advocate for you guys. I know the Northern guys are probably gonna roll their eyes at this, but eventually it will come. All of you watch right now, go outside, tie in a top water, tie in a blooper, tie in a hound, and go get bit on the surface. That's like my favorite way to catch them. But thank you guys so much for watching today's epi. I appreciate the view. We will catch you guys on the next one. And as always, folks, keep fishing, never stop. <laughs>